So let me tell you how this happened. Hey, sweeties. I'm going to do an always pan update because I got my steamers. When I ordered the always pan uh, on Black Friday, I also ordered the steamers that come with it. These are spruce steamers and um, it took a while for it to get here. They just came last week. I got the pan in uh, December and then I got the steamers in February, but we have been putting them to use over the last week. This is the box they came in. And the steamers came with the two steamers. And then I also came with a pair of, they came with a pair of Our Place cooking chopsticks. There you go. Handy pair of cooking chopsticks to go with your new steamers. It came with some liners and the bag is biodegradable. Uh, this came with, I think there were about 25 liners in there and they're really nice liners too like they're a good quality nice thick liner so that can help not have to clean up so we just i'm sorry we just used these my son made some buns this morning for breakfast and he used the steamers for that the steamer also came with one of these uh scrubby pads one came with the always pan when we first ordered it. I do love how nice and light that is. Look at that, even with the steamers on. Um, so one of these came with the pan when it was first sent, and then they sent another one um, with this little card when the steamers came. So far, it's okay. I say we've only been using it for a week, and one of the steamers is starting to split there so i might contact them and ask if they can send a replacement because that's kind of fast for the steamer to start uh to, you know degrading so i'm going to see if they'll send a replacement for the steamer but since the steamer has come, we've used the pan much more often. If you watched my original uh, review of the Always Pan, um, then you'll know that I don't recommend the Always Pan because you can't put it in the oven, and I feel like that really makes it of limited use. Um, it's got a good nonstick surface, which I like, and I'll do a six-month update, and we'll see if the nonstick is as slippery on you know, day 180 as it was on day one. The original pan comes with this steamer insert. So you can put some water in the bottom in the pan, put this steamer insert in, steam something in here, and then steam something in each of these baskets. And you can do a whole full steamer meal. My only caution um, I would say on that is that when you put this bottom steamer basket in, that you will have to, um, you can only put in about a cup and a half of water in the bottom pot when you use this to steam as well. Otherwise, the water will bubble up through. So if you put a cup and a half of water in here, and then you're steaming in this and steaming in the two baskets, you just want to make sure that this water that's in the pan doesn't boil out before your stuff gets fully uh, heated through and steamed through. So just keep an eye on the water level. Um, if you're steaming just in these baskets and you're not using this basket, the metal, a uh, steamer basket, Oops. then you can put much more water in this bottom pan. So you don't have to be as concerned about the water boiling out um, as you would if you um, just use these. And we've made uh, dumplings for Chinese New Year in this. 
um, I should say dumplings. We made dumplings for the Lunar New Year where we handmade our dough from scratch, our filling from scratch. And I'm super proud of how the dumplings turned out. They were really very good. It was my first time making uh, dumplings and we steamed them. Um, we boiled some, but then we steamed the rest in these uh, spruce steamers in the hour place pan turned out great so i mean it works but i am uh, a little bit disappointed that the um steamer is already starting to split let's steam some dumplings so i can just show you what i'm talking about so here are just some and i bought all of these i didn't make any of these <laughs> some little um dumplings uh, in the metal steamer, we got some bao, some buns, and they come on their own little paper, so we don't need to use one of those steamer inserts. And then we have some xiao mai, or xiao mai, I'm not sure if I did that right, but we got that on the steamer basket. Our water seems to be boiling. Yep. Our water is boiling. Now we can place our... first basket layer and you'll see you've got to take this um the beechwood uh spatula that comes with it it just is in the way sometimes when you're you know not using it so i like to just take it off and you see there's a little bit too much water in there so i'm going to pour some of that out all right, so I poured a little bit of that water out so we wouldn't be boiling our dumplings. So we'll put that first layer in there. And then we'll put these, this steamer basket on top, this steamer basket on top of that, and then the lid on. So those buns have been steaming and the shawmai have been steaming for about 10 minutes now one of these things has to cook for 15 minutes but let me show you uh, this is what i was talking about so we've let this steam looks like our dumplings here are done but if you let it go for too long without checking the water level that water can boil out and that's no good so you got to make sure you are staying, paying attention. Even if it says, oh, boil it for 10 minutes or boil it for 15 minutes. You can, if you're using the steamer insert, you have to use such a, um, a small amount of water, just about a cup and a half or a cup and three quarters, that it can boil out really fast. So and it can, that water can boil out before your, the rest of your stuff is done steaming. So be aware. Let's check the temperature on these buns. Oh, they're getting there. They're not quite hot enough. I'd like to get to 165. Uh, they're almost there. But yeah, the water boiled out of the pan before these were fully heated. So be aware. I'm going to let this cool off and then uh, wash it out and we'll see um, what we're left with. So I've let that cool off. Let's see if I can wash this off with just a little soapy water. I'm just gonna grab this paper towel because it's right here. Let's see what happens. I mean, it's coming off pretty, pretty good. Let's let it soak a little bit more. I'm going to put the little scrubby tool there. Drop that in. Let it soak for a bit more. Let's get back at it. All right, we let it soak a bit. I put the, you can see how the little loofah puffs up. Oops, can you see that? See how the little loofah puffs up? Scrub it gently. I may have ruined it. If you can see, it hasn't quite all come off yet. I may have ruined my always pan. Mm. 
Mm. That's going to take some more scrubbing. I don't know if you can see. It's still a little bit discolored. Little some specks there. Not quite coming clean. So it's going to take a little bit more work. Hopefully I'll get it back to good as new with some more scrubbing, gentle scrubbing. Ooh, okay. <laughs> After the third time of scrubbing the Always Pan with the little uh, loofah type sponge that it comes with, it has come clean, clean, clean. Looks back to normal. Um, <laughs> so don't do what I just did. Be careful, this is not like, you can't treat it like a cast iron pan. You really have to watch it. You can't let it, that um, liquid boil out of it. You can't cook on it with high heat. You gotta be, it's pretty dainty, but, and then this, this is a complaint that I have seen online is that if the outside of it gets colored, discolored, it's hard to get clean. Um, and it is, <laughs> it is. So, like, if you're really cooking with it, you got to make sure that you are scrubbing off any spills and not letting them get cooked on at all. So, that's where we are. We, like I said, we've been cooking with the Always Pan for, uh, since December. This is now February. So, what is that, two months? Um, and that's how it's going. Still cannot recommend, but... I got it, so I'm going to keep using it. And we will update again in another couple of months. Because of its small size, the water in the Always Pan can boil out quickly, so be sure you're ready to refill if necessary. So I just wanted to show you a little update and uh, let you know what's going on with that Always Pan. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and have a delicious day. Check out my original Always Pan review right over there and you'll see why I don't recommend it.